So today I have an unboxing. Um, a while ago, well not even a while ago, like five days ago we ordered a Vitamix Splendor and the package has arrived. So I thought I'd just unbox it. I'm so excited. I literally squealed when I got this package. I've been waiting, I guess, six years since I discovered what a Vitamix was and I got like a knockoff version which was the Montel Williams and I've been using that, for, or I guess it's called the Health Master. And I've been using that for a long time, but it's not quite as good as it says it is, so it doesn't actually blend anything up the way it says it does. As far as powder, like it makes awesome smoothies and makes them really smooth and stuff. So I really did enjoy the blender and I've had it for quite a while, but I've always really wanted a Vitamix. They're very expensive, so if you know anything about them, they're, depending on what kind you get and what like style and how many buckets you want to get, it can be like thousand a couple you know 1500 bucks I guess if you really wanted to um, we I was flicking through the channels and the shopping channel was on and we've never purchased anything from the shopping channel before but we decided hey like there's a Vitamix so we actually just got it from the shopping channel um, the retail value without being on the shopping channel I think we did I think it was like $1,200 it would have been um, but we got it for six something but in like easy payments. Um, we like went on the website and priced it out how much it would cost if we got it like regular and how much we'd get it this way. Plus we don't have to pay up front, we can just get it like with installments. And it's worth it for us because we do use our blender quite a lot. So um, you can make flour and everything with it. But anyways, I'll do a review after I start using it, but right now we're just going to unbox it. I'm so excited. So hold on, I'll grab, I'll just gonna I'm just going to put the camera somewhere like that you can see me. So I filmed the entire unboxing process and I went to go review my video to edit it a little bit and I was comp I was sideways through the entire video so that's unfortunate and that just happened like 20 minutes after I actually filmed it. So I'm just going to go ahead and film again because I have no idea how to reflip a video and actually it's going to happen to me again I think so. Hold on a second. Okay, so it came in this gigantic box, as you can see beside my head here. And inside there was like these compartments and such. Let me just tell you what came in the compartments again. So, the first thing, I think you're too high. <laughs> the first thing was the, were these um, cookbooks. So it came with this whole grains and it's a pretty thick book and it's soft cover but still like I didn't realize we were getting books at all so shows how much I researched that. Um, it came with The Art of Blending and it's a hardcover book and it's like really nice like really good quality pages and it shows you all these recipes. I actually don't use recipe books that often, but I might take a little look through and then give it to somebody who I know that does use cookbooks, so we'll see. Um, the next is this, and it comes with the owner's manual because this does have a warranty. I think it comes with like a 5 or 10 or a lifetime warranty. Yeah. Anyways, it comes with a warranty, but it is a thick book about, um, this looks like a dessert or a smoothie, a smoothie Bible type thing. Um, and the one that we purchased came with three buckets, so it came with this small one, and I'm not sure exactly which one this is, but it has a bottom on it like that. I know that some are for grains, I have one for, I think it's grains, and then seed, no, grains, nuts, like flour, and like butters maybe actually, flours, butters, and then, see the bottom on that one's square, and then there's... And then there's this tall one here, and this is like the one that I'd probably move, use for smoothies and stuff. I guess you could use all of them, but the blade technology they say is different in each one, so I guess they're a little bit different. Um, you also get this Vitamix DVD. Um, I'm guessing it just shows you all the same things as like the infomercials or other people, you know, like making things, how it works and stuff. An instructional... DVD version of the book, probably. Also it came with, and I dropped one, two tampers. And this is for like, 
you take the lid off because it came my Montel Williams one that I was using all those years. Uh, I don't know how you get this off because I didn't read the instructions. <laughs> Anyways, you put this down inside and it like you can like spin it around so you don't have to like shake it. I don't know if you have a blender at home, you'll know what I'm talking about. Those crappy blenders, you have to like shake them. Well, these come with tampers and so did the Montel Williams, so I understand the whole concept of these. Um, and the base, and it's actually pretty heavy, and it has, there you can see the gears, and if you are like me, and you're probably watching this because you either want a Vitamix, or you have a Vitamix, or you just like watching unboxing videos, but um, it has the switch for on and off, and then it has like the speeds, and I think this is like high and low power. Um, I freaking love this. I'm so excited. And anybody who knows me knows I've wanted one of these forever. Like, I'm so excited. I squealed. I think I said that already, but like, I actually was so excited. But the UPS lady went to the neighbor's door, knocked on her door, and just dropped it. Like, she wasn't even there when she opened the door. She just left the package on my neighbor's door. So good thing I'm, like, you know, friends with my neighbors. But anyways... Um, don't mind my hair. I had to walk to get my kids and it's slushy and rainy and nasty outside and my feet were soaking wet. My hair was soaking wet. And um, yeah, so let's just ignore this. So it sucks that I couldn't actually do my real reaction of the unboxing, but it was super, super fast shipping and I'm so, so, so excited to have the Vitamix blender. And not only do I have the Vitamix blender, I have like three different buckets. I'm so excited. And um, now I have to like make stuff and learn how to bake and things like that. Except the backstory between, behind me wanting a Vitamix blender was um, to be like, to go raw. That's where I found the Vitamix. And if you don't know what going raw is, it's like where you just eat a plant-based raw like food diet and by raw food I don't mean like meat or raw eggs or anything like that but like raw vegetables you don't want them to be cooked oh, I think it's over 118 degrees so you would eat all your vegetables like that but there's so many recipes for raw food eating and the only reason I was looking into raw food eating is because I was like just looking into like home cures for things and stuff like that and it's super healthy and so that's my ideal mission by getting this. And I might not go 100% raw, but I do want to do like a lot of smoothies. My kids love smoothies. I love smoothies, um, like green smoothies and stuff like that. So stay tuned on my channel for those. And I will be posting some reviews probably on this. So if you're interested in this type of thing, like the Vitamix or the food, raw food eating, um, stay, maybe subscribe to the channel because I will be putting a lot of those types of videos in throughout time as time passes, especially coming towards Christmas time. I'm going to be making a lot of like raw food desserts and things like that because um, that's just what we do. We have a lot of vegetarians in our family as well, so it'll be fun to like experiment because we can gr grind up your own grains and make your own flour and stuff with this. So anyways, that's it for today and I'm sorry I'm like slouching down, but you're on this like weird pedestal thing. And uh, maybe if I get that video to flip around, I can like insert it later on in time. Um, I have no idea how to do that, so I don't even know where to begin. Um, anyways, so I will see you next time. I'm going to post a video tomorrow, so check back. See you later. I don't even know what that little squealy noise was, but I'll see you tomorrow. Phone's ringing. Bye!